Hey, what up guys? How's it going? Okay, I'm back with just a quick little video. Uh, yeah, today we're gonna install the Samsung 2 terabyte 980 Pro uh, M.2 SSD inside of the PlayStation 5 here. An important thing is if you don't update the firmware first before installing it in your PlayStation 5, you're not gonna see the fastest you know, read and write times. Uh, I believe read speeds are rated at 7,000. Uh, I believe you can get 6,500 after updating the firmware, but if you just take it out of the box, put it in your PlayStation 5, Five, you're only going to see around 5,000 megabytes per second. So um, I actually have a couple of drives here because I'm going to update the C drive inside my computer as well as update another 980 Pro for my other PlayStation 5. So I'm going to do it all at once. But anyways, we're going to go to my PC, install the one for the PlayStation 5, update the firmware. I'll show you guys how to do that. I will leave links to the software you need to update the firmware and then we'll install it in the PlayStation 5 and then we'll see the uh, read speed it gives us. So I'm going to stop talking and uh, let's go ahead and do this. All right, guys. Okay, so I'm here on my PC. I'm going to go ahead and uh, unscrew this heat sink I have right here and take this off. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and put in the 980 Pro. Okay, you'll hear it snap in, and then I'll go ahead and screw it down. All right, good to go. Now I'll go ahead and uh, plug back in my computer, and let's turn on the power. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the Samsung Magician software. Again, links for the software are in the description. And there you go. Now these tabs up here are the drives installed inside your computer. And uh, as you can see, the lower left right here, it already says, here, let me move that. It already says update. It can already tell. But we could switch to the 980 Pro with heatsink, like it says right there and we'll go to uh, drive details. And you see on the right hand side right here, it says update. So you can either hit this one that says update or right here on the lower left, hit update. So we'll go ahead and update this. Okay, so you could see all the drives here. I went ahead and replaced my C drive with this 980 Pro one terabyte. But anyways, the two terabyte one with heat sink is right here and on the right hand side, we'll just click update. So right now it's gonna update, then it says it's gonna restart the computer. It doesn't restart, it just turns the computer off. And then uh, I'll just go ahead and hit shut down now because latest firmware download completed, system will shut down now. Okay, so cut the computer back on. Let's open up the software again. Samsung Magician, and we'll go to our 980 Pro with heatsink. And as you can see, it has been updated drive details, it's not giving us an indication that another you know, update is needed. We are all good to go. Firmware, latest version, as you see right there. So that was the hardest part. We'll go ahead and put this inside the PlayStation 5 and we're good to go. All right, so we're back at the PlayStation here and all we're gonna do is make sure the PlayStation is upside down. You'll know because the disk drive is up. And uh, we're gonna lift up on the upper right corner and slide to the right. So, pretty simple, right? So, lift up and slide to the right and the top comes off. All right, so now that we have the top off, revealing our PlayStation 5 innards, there's a screw right here and we're just gonna go ahead and take that out. Got the screw out, and now we're just gonna lift up on the corner here and take this plate up. Now inside here, you'll see another screw that we're gonna go ahead and take out. All right, so here is that screw right here. We're gonna go ahead and take that out. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take this piece out, move it to the 80 position, and uh, yeah, I just happen to have some tweezers right here, so I'll put it in here, but you can just use your finger, no big deal. Let's go ahead and pop in the 980 Pro. So you wanna put it in at an angle, and then you'll feel it kinda like snap in, and then you'll go ahead and lay it down. Okay, there we go, kinda snapped in. Then we'll get the screw, and screw it right in. Now let's go ahead and put the plate back on. And 
and then we'll put the screw in. Now let's put the top back on. So we'll put it on here and then we're just gonna slide left. We did right to take it off, now we'll slide left. You'll hear it snap on like that, and that's it. All right, let's go ahead and plug it in, and let's check out these uh, read speeds. All right, so we powered it up, and right there it's telling us to format the M.2 SSD. Uh, that's the only way you could use it, is if you go ahead and format it. So let's go ahead and do that. Formatting should only take a second. Okay, it's all done being formatted. Let me zoom in for you so you can see the read speeds and there you have it, we're good to go. That's how you know you've taken the firmware update because if you don't, like I said, it'll only be at like 5,000. So 6510 is a lot better than 5,000. And you're all good to go and that's it. You hit okay, it'll take you back to your start screen and all that stuff and then you could choose if you want to install games on the new drive or only PS4 games on the new drive, however you wanna do it. You could also move whatever games content you want from your internal on the PS5 to the new um, SSD you just installed and you can play games off of both and you're good to go. But I just wanted you to see that it's updated and we're good to go. Any questions, leave it in the comments. All right guys, 